<laughs> What's up guys? Welcome back to Tempe Creek where we talk about our vineyard, winery, and our homesteading operation. We basically are trying to make this thing profitable. If you're into that, any of that sort of content, make sure you hit the subscribe button so that you don't miss any of our future videos. Also, um, make sure you hit that, that like button if you get any value out of this. It really helps out the video, or so I've been told. I don't know, just do it anyway. Uh, so today, guys, we actually got uh, some portable buildings. Yeah, we've bought them a while ago. Um, it took them forever to get here. Um, but the plan with these is we're going to go ahead and finish some out. Oh my god, guineas. Guys, guineas. I wish I could take that one back. Um, we're going to go ahead and finish these out. We're gonna, Then we're going to go ahead and put them on uh, short-term rental. So Airbnb or something like that. Um, and we're going to kind of see what happens. Maybe we're trying to diversify what we're doing here. Um, for those of you who have followed the channel for a little bit, you guys know we have we have some cows. We do a little bit of that. But the main thing on the farm right now is our winery operation. Um, and we do rent out the space and other stuff. But let's go ahead and check out these portable buildings. And then we'll go through what we're planning on doing with them. Um, and I'll let you know what kind of uh, our costs are going to be associated with them currently and what they might be in the future. All right, guys. So here it is. We got two. We ended up getting two. So we're going to go ahead and finish both of these out. Um, <clears throat> right now they're cabins, but they may become a future home of ours. Who knows what the future is in store. With that being said, welcome to my crib. Now I know this is a lot to get in one shot, so I'm going to try my best to basically get all the dimensions for you guys. Alright guys, so in this tiny uh, little portable building that we have, it is basically a 10 by 16. So you were talking about 160 square feet um, right here is the entrance i would call it the foyer um and so and then let me step over now we're in the living room um there's a window over there this will be a plain wall let us go to the bedroom bam we're now in the bedroom super spacious um and so basically the design we're gonna have on this side on in this uh building is we're gonna go ahead and I'm probably gonna put smart board for the majority of the walls. We have this wall over here, this wall, and this wall will all be smart boarded in. Um, then we're gonna go ahead and uh, color them. Um, probably some dark color, gray, uh, dark blue, something like that. And then on the other side, We're gonna have a shiplap all on this side as an accent wall. And so this is gonna be kind of where out the entire cabin kind of faces, right? So our couch will be on the opposite side, our bed will be over here. And so it's you're kind of facing the nicer looking wall that really accents the space. The top, I, I did want to raise the rafters a little bit so that I could get more height in here. But after thinking about it and the amount of trouble it would be worth, what we're just going to do, we're just going to go ahead and do a standard ceiling on this. Um, I don't know what type of material I'm going to go ahead and use uh, as of yet. I'm thinking metal, but maybe not. I don't know. But currently what we have invested in this project, guys, is about uh, $7,200. Each cabin was about $3,600. Um, the next, next step we're going to go ahead and do is we're going to go ahead and run electricity through all these bad boys. Um, they're going to put up our uh, insulation. Uh, which will be the next cost and then we'll put, go ahead and put our uh, interior walls uh, and siding in put our ceiling in and then call it a deal. actually our flooring probably at some point in there I mean, what would you do we'll probably put our flooring down and then no we'll do our flooring last and then we'll do trim will be the last last thing um, and then we'll be ready to Airbnb it. If you guys 
um, actually Airbnb and you're from YouTube, you can guys can kind of hang out with us and I'll, you can like pick my brain for whatever we're going doing on the farm. So if you're trying to do anything on your farm, um, that kind of will kind of help you guys out. Um, once we get the whole project done, I'll do the, I'll show you the different phases. Um, but I also will give you a final, this is how much it costs, which right now uh, I'm kind of like a little nervous about it because if you guys never noticed, building costs are crazy right now. They are through the roof. Um, originally, what I wanted to spend on these two cabins and then doing everything, I just wanted a total of $15,000 uh, $15, for both of them. We're half of that in just on the shells alone. And building materials are so much, I kind of feel we're not going to be able to do it. Um, the quotes I've been getting for the electricity have been a lot of the budget. And so we're just going to have to play it by ear, guys. Um, but let me know what you guys think with the design, what we should be doing, what type of furniture we should be getting in here. I'd love to hear your ideas. Um, let me know how much you think we're actually going to spend. I'll come back with an update and actually uh, share that with you guys. With that being said, guys, um, thanks so much for supporting this channel. Watch these other videos, all this other jazz. Make sure you subscribe. Have a great day.